My name is Wendell Myers and I paint uh, with acrylics, abstract landscapes. Art and music have always been a big part of my life. Uh, my wife's a professional musician and uh, so I've always stayed involved in art and music. I like to work with the idea of a foreground, a middle ground and a, and a background which may or may not be the sky. Um, and I, I really I uh, like to take a very improvisational approach. I like improvisation in music. Uh, I really enjoy listening to and playing jazz and blues. And I really like improvisation in my painting. That's one of the things that I'm doing when I paint is improvising. Uh, take a step, react to it, see what it does, respond to that, and go from there. What I'm really doing with these paintings is uh, trying to use color and energy and movement and the way that I use light to evoke an emotional state. Uh, I don't care about depicting reality, that's not what this is about. This is about uh, improvisation and emotion. To me, one of the things that's really interesting to me is how something very simple, one simple gesture can carry such a huge amount of meaning. Like a simple horizontal becomes the earth. Uh, a simple vertical becomes a, a living being, a life force. Uh, it might be a tree or it might be a person. I'm, I'm really intrigued by pre-Christian symbolism, symbolism, religious and spiritual symbolism from pre-Christian Europe, and how certain sites were imbued with spiritual meaning, hillsides or, or peaks, or groves of trees or even individual trees. And so I would like my paintings to carry that kind of meaning. Uh, I would like my trees not to just be trees, but to be uh, living creatures with some kind of emotional or even spiritual presence. And I just keep going until, uh, until the painting feels done to me. Um, and sometimes it's very clear to me when a painting is done. It just, uh, it's just finished and there's nothing more to do. Other times uh, it's not so clear to me and I set it aside and I may realize later that it's done. Um, but the, the real frustrating thing is to take a painting that's almost done and think, well, it needs one or two more things and you turn it from a painting that's almost done into one that is way far from done. <laughs> and that, that's frustrating.